literally the pain you've had from childhood or childhood experiences and traumas, you can cry it. It's like you re-experience it, but you hold yourself as an adult. You hold the child. What's up ladies and gentlemen, Josh Mason here. <clears throat> I just did my first colonic in about two months, maybe three months I haven't done a colonic and I decided to do one and uh, holy shit at what came out of me. Um, I promised people that I wouldn't do another gross video for a while but I feel like every time something like this comes out I should do a video. Uh, they seem to get the most hits anyway. <laughs> it seems like all people want to see is poop. They don't actually care about me. Anyway, I've been following, uh, you know, a similar protocol to what I shared in the last, in my last dissolving mucoid plaque video. I'll post a link below to that video. Um, you're gonna want to see it. You're gonna want to watch it after I show you what came out of me. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, another big thing is, and you're not gonna, you may not love this, but a real big piece of dissolving mucoid plaque and allowing your body to get rid of it is actually emotions. Like for men, you want to learn how to detox mucoid plaque. I mean, yeah, take the supplements, take the herbs and the binders, but you need to cry. You know, I'm just going to be really honest here. I recently went through uh, a breakup and um, and I, I've been crying, you know. The detox dude is down. Detox dude is down a little bit, okay. I've been crying and, uh, you know, and that's okay because we're supposed to cry. And uh, when you cry, you release, especially for me, I've been crying a lot of childhood pain, right. You're not going to believe this, but... When you start detoxing and going deep with spirituality and, and the divine connection, you can start crying your childhood pain. Literally the pain you've had from childhood or childhood experiences and traumas, you can cry it. It's like you re-experience it, but you hold yourself as an adult. You hold the child as an adult. The child who wasn't being held as a child, you know, or held in the way that he would have liked to be or she would have liked to be. So don't us underestimate the power of releasing repressed emotions. You know, last night I had a crazy intense cry, super amazing, therapeutic, cathartic, and sure enough today, mucoid plaque, rubber, rubber tar coming out of me. How how I've been alive all this time with this stuff inside of me, I don't know, but um, I can't imagine what somebody obese is dealing with in terms of parasites and mucoid plaque. All right, uh, enough of me. People just want to see the poop. They don't care about me. Well, I just want to warn you it's gross, so turn away if you can't handle the gross videos that I do. Um, but... Uh, just an important point, you know, remember the tears, especially men. Men are experts at repression and I got to tell you, it's hindering your ability to be successful in all other aspects of life. Alrighty. You ready? You ready? Ah! The sludge of death. The sludge of death. I took it out and put it on a piece of cardboard. When you do your colonics, you can put a colander in the toilet and you can catch the goodies that come out and then, you know, fish for them with a glove. Or if you really don't, if you don't want to use a glove, by all means, go ahead, but I'm not recommending that. Like, it's possible, guys, it's possible, actually probable, that this stuff started building in me when I was two years old three years old and got nestled in a little pocket of my intestines and never wanted to come out because I was holding on to something from childhood all the way till last night. 
I cried something. I don't remember exactly what the memory was, but it had to do with me as a child and it had to do with pain. It was like I was crying something about my family, my parents, and just not being loved enough. And I literally was crying that out last night. The breakup is just a trigger, right? The breakup in my relationship was a trigger for something deeper. That's generally the case with our lives, is that these things that happen to us are just triggers for bigger samskaras, wounds that we have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll stop talking because all people want to do is see poop. So the detox dude is out. Peace.